In this video, we are going to look at how to package this application and install it on users' computers. So this is one of the way that I'm going to demonstrate in this video. We will remove all the navigation. We will turn off some of the settings and it is going to be exciting video. If you are interested, then stick around and uh, let's get started with this uh, video. So as you have seen the snapshot of this video, what we are going to do, you already know, and I will get right into it. But before that, I have to say, please subscribe to the channel if you have not, and hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. Okay, now let's move on and uh, let's get started. So basically this video is all about shipping this application packaging it packaging it and shipping it to the user now there are two different scenarios that we have one scenario is uh, it could be that this application is made for just a standalone computer for one person or one user to use it and that's it right in that situation it's pretty much easy uh, what needs to be done and which basically i'm going to demonstrate in this video this is a second scenario where multiple users, either 10, 15, 20, whatever the number is, they are going to use this application. In that situation or in that scenario, um, this application has to be split into two applications. One will become a backend application, which will consist of the tables, okay, and the queries forms and reports will be another file which will be considered as front end so it's always front end and back end especially when there is a requirement of people multiple user multiple people using the application so in that case the back end goes on to the server or a share folder you can call it and the front end goes to the users either using email or usbs or and through any means but the idea is that the front end goes to all the users computers or machines and the back end goes to the server but both files have to have link that means the back end is linked with the front end so basically the idea is that if you have multiple users they are all pointing to one direction and that is this file that consists of the backend and it is stored on the uh, share folder or server so that's the idea now i don't have server but i will try to replicate that uh, exact same scenario in my next video so if you are interested in watching that just uh, wait for a few more days I will be uploading that video and um, subscribe to the channel as well so you get notification when I upload uh, that video for that you have to tap on the bell icon too okay all right let's move on to this so in this situation in this video I'm going to demonstrate the scenario one which is quite for quite frankly is a straightforward process for that let's uh, get right into it for that you go to file tab you go to options you go to the current database and in here first thing you do is provide the application title so i say loop payroll management system okay if you have an icon or logo that you want to have uh, onto this application you can also upload that then the idea basically is when user opens this application user don't have to see all of this navigation pane or the ribbon on to the top of the application what user should see right away is the login form so when double click happens on an icon or folder then uh, or the application then the user first should get a screen called login as you have, might have seen not might have seen as you have seen 
for sure in uh, using the application so first form we want to show is login so we will choose login from here okay so where it is here we go and we don't want to see the status bar so we'll turn off turn it off we don't want sp uh, special keys we don't want uh, okay enable layout view we don't want so we will turn it off we'll uh, scroll down design changes table no we don't want that either so we'll turn off the display navigation we'll go to navigation options we go to object type and we'll turn off everything and we click ok the moment i do that you see everything is hidden now and also we will turn off the uh, allow full menu we don't want allow shortcut menus we don't want okay well this application since this scenario is for the standalone um, desktop or computer so i think this much is enough so i'll click ok now we get a message box and it says you must close and reopen the current database for specified option to take effect so we will uh, close this application and i will reopen so now i have reopened the application and as you can see that right away we see the login form which means it is asking us to provide the login credential now in normal view for example you have not done all these uh, those changes in the settings if you right click somewhere onto the form you will see a little menu appear at the moment i'm clicking right click multiple times and nothing is happening and that shows that really uh, that those settings are applied so we will go ahead and uh, we will provide the user id or username and we will provide the password so hopefully this password is correct yep it is correct welcome to loop payroll management system so you click ok and here we are on to the dashboard so employee master data we go to profile yep we can see the information let's go to common reports let's maybe run a report just for the testing purpose whether everything is working and yep we are getting the information that we wanted so this is it i mean it's quite easy once you are done with all of this whatever you have seen here uh, in this video i think you should be able to take this file and uh, store it on the user's computer so they can double click on the file and they can actually start using this application so this was just a simple straightforward process for the users who wants to use this application mm. as a single use or single computer application mm. now next video as i said will be around how to split this application and how to store the back end onto a different folder and the front end onto a different folder so and then we will create link as well okay so that's it for today and uh, thank you very much for supporting keep supporting keep watching and keep subscribing to the channel as well